Hey guys, Jeremy here, and today I have something I think is really cool for collectors of statues and fans of Dragon Ball Z. This is a statue created by Ben Presto, and it is of Goku in Super Saiyan form. And this is also part of their Master Stars collection, in which the statues are just a bit taller than the ones that are in other collections. This Goku stands around the 10 inch-ish tall mark, and this is a repaint version from an earlier statue. From what I understand, there was a contest that was held in which the best repaint was made into a figure, and that's what this is. This Goku is made of lighter colors. It's almost like watercolors, and it looks more similar to what Goku looks like in the manga and not necessarily the uh, TV show or the movies, but it's just fine because to me, it creates a very unique look, and we're gonna take a look at Goku in a little while. So this statue I got from Amazon.com for and this is the best part. It's a low price of only about 24 bucks with Prime shipping. If you have Amazon Prime, of course you get it in two days, which is a very, very great price for a statue of this quality. If you're familiar with Kotobukiya statues, to me, these statues and Kotobukiya statues in their Artifacts Plus line are very similar in quality, yet these are a lot cheaper. So, Let's open this guy up. We're gonna take a good look at him and see what he's all about. All right, everybody, this is Goku, and he looks really, really cool. And he's pretty tall. In fact, if you were to stand him next to the box, you would be like, well, how in the world did you fit this guy in the box? Well, that's because this Goku is made up of a couple of parts. And all you have to do is just take him apart, just like this, and you see that there are two different pieces associated with him. And it only fits in one way, just like the Kotobukiya Kia statue. So all you have to do is just put him down like this, snap him in place, and then there you go, he's all ready. So this statue comes in two parts. Some other figures from this line may come in more than uh, two parts. Like with Trunks, I believe that he also has a sword uh, that you would have to put on as well. But that's how they fit this guy in the box. And he just looks really, really great. Take a look at that pose that he has. He has like this little smirk on his face. Cause you know Goku, the guy loves to fight and he's always up for the challenge. So of course he has this, yeah, come at me kind of look on his face and he's looking off to the side. So if you have like another statue that you want to pose this guy with, you can kind of angle him in a way so you can kind of make it look like he's like looking at him, getting ready to fight. And the colors on him, like I said earlier, they're very, they're very light. You know, it's like the base of Goku may be completely white and he's just sprayed just enough to get the to get some color out of him. But you can tell that it's very, very light. So, of course, with his gi, it's not as that dark orange that we're used to. And like this blue isn't as the dark blue and even his hair isn't that really darkish yellow that we're used to. So it's very it's very subtle. It's very understated. But one thing that I do like about it is that the way that the shading kind of works along with this, because you see around here, you have like these lighter colors around here, but then you also like around the back, you can see like these darker colors that are in. I mean, these are not shadows from like my lighting. This is just the paint. So you can see the combination of the lightish of the light paint and then the dark shadows that go along with that. And it really helps to create almost like a, a glowing effect. It's like he has an aura about him. He, he glows. It's like an effervescence. It's, it's very, it's very unique. It's a very unique look. And I really also like the way that the mold is. Because all of these little wrinkles in his gi, I mean, this is all a part of the mold. So you can feel all those different contours and all that different texture within it. And the paint on this guy is done extremely well, especially for 24 bucks. You look at some other stuff that you can get for around $24, and then you look at this Goku, and it really makes you wonder, like, wow, where is my money going to? Because if you can get all your figures looking like this at that price, Oh my goodness, everyone will have the coolest looking collection. This Goku does have some flaws, very small nagging flaws. Like for example, I'm looking on his hair here. There's a little bit of a little chip right there, right there on the top of his hair. And then you can't see, but if you like dig deep down in between this spiky part and this spiky part, there's another little tiny chip really down like at the base of it. But other than that, you know, I really can't complain too much about this guy at all. His face looks fantastic. They did a really great job on his face. And I don't see any imperfections with the line work for his eyes 
or for his mouth or his nose or anything like that. They even detailed the knuckles on his hand. You can see his little like little prints, you know, that's like right underneath your knuckle, little knuckle prints. I'm not too sure what those are even called, but those are even painted in there. And then even on his hands, on the palm of his hands, if you make a fist and you see like those little lines that go through your hand when you make a fist in that opening, that's detailed on there too. So it's all these little facets they decided to include on this and that is really, really good. Goku stands pretty darn well on his own. However, he does come with this little clear stand that you can put on him. Um, I have that stand attached to another figure that could use it more at this point. But basically what it is, it's not anything that you can put in his feet because he doesn't have any peg holes or anything like that. But it's basically just a clear stand with an opening in the, in, in the, in the back of it. So you just take it, snap it onto the back of his leg, and it basically just helps to weigh him back a little bit to offset uh, his weight. But he doesn't need it because he stands just fine on his own. But I'm really happy that Ben Presto included that in the box because, you know, you never know because depending on how your setup is or how your house may be, maybe you're on a little bit of a curve, maybe it's slanted a little bit, and that stand will help to counteract that, uh, that slant to keep Goku standing up. So it's great that they, that they shipped that with him. That's fantastic. I wish all statues were that way. But yeah, I am so happy with this figure and he looks really, really great standing next to some other figures that I have in which I would do another review video on a little bit later. I also have the Vegito statue, which is equally cool and he looks awesome. But yeah, guys, Bam Presto, if you've never heard of this particular brand and I am quite late to the party when it comes to Bam Presto, but... Um, I first saw these guys in like Barnes and Noble and I saw and I saw these statues and I thought maybe I can get them cheaper and I looked on Amazon and I found them. So if you want to start collecting statues or you just want some really cool Dragon Ball Z uh, stuff to have inside of your place and you're not quite sure where to find them, just look for the Ban Presto line of statues. They are all pretty much affordable. And if you want the taller ones like this in the Master Star series, they have that. Or if you want something of a smaller scale around the five to six inch mark, they also have those as well. And they're all pretty decent prices. So I totally recommend these. These are awesome. I want to get more of these and just have my own little Dragon Ball type of display because I am highly, highly impressed with this. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Jeremy and I'll talk to you later.